we're facing, we're, we're looking at the, at the symptom and not the cause. For example, the governor was under tremendous pressure from the federal government agencies to reduce the overcrowded prisons. So he went ahead and uh, developed a piece of legislation, Assembly Bill 109, that reduced, quote, non-violent residents back to the non-violent prisoners back to their community. There's another piece of legislation pending right now, and I would want you guys to vote against it, is Proposition 47. What they want to do is reduce from felonies to misdemeanors, crimes dealing with drugs, false checks, all those various other kinds of challenges that would reduce, uh, that would probably add another 40,000 prisoners to our society, and probably some of those will undoubtedly be coming to the Mesa. The issue of the trolley is a concern that I've had forever. I've been a very constructive, critical, critical person about the trolley. This is the only trolley in the entire nation that does not have any kind of police agency for its riders. Anybody can get on the trolley, and we have a lot of individuals who get on the trolley without buying a ticket, and they intimidate people or they create all kinds of problems. I think that what we have to do is hold the trolley and its jurisdictions accountable for the problems that we're facing. It is an embarrassment for me to see that people are fearful of their safety, even in the daytime, next, every time they're close to a trolley station. We ought to address that problem. I wish I could be like Pedro from the Public Dynamite and say, if you vote for me, all your dreams will come true. Unfortunately, that's not going to work out. But if we can't solve the crime issue, <clears throat> then all these other questions that we're asking don't matter. We have to take care of it. We have to solve it. And I think one of the easiest ways right now is to get involved with some of the volunteer programs that I've been involved with and a lot of you here. Neighborhood Watch, it works amazingly well over in my neighborhood. Uh, nothing goes on in my neighborhood if not for some senior ladies that keep an eye watch on our street in their neighborhoods. Anybody parks their car for longer than 20 minutes, they'll get a police call. We need to use what we have. I have a friend of mine. Her name is Vera Ibarra. She's 90 years old and she's part of the RSVP program. She rides around in the car, and they have to put phone books down so she can see out the window. But she wants to participate. She wants to be involved in these things. There are so many people in the city of La Mesa that have time, and they have options that would allow them to help out with the neighborhoods. Um, we don't have enough police. We really don't afford to, can't afford to hire more police to go and look at all these areas of difficulties. But if we have enough volunteers and people willing to step up and help out, I think a lot of this can be solved. Uh, the trolley is an issue. I think there needs to be some sort of a um, video monitoring, monitoring area so we can keep track from one central hub. There's so many things that need to be done, but again, it's a work in progress, and it requires more than just one person, one police department, or anybody else like that to answer. Thank you. When we talk about addressing safety, whether it be fixing sidewalks, installing street lights, beefing up the police department. It comes down to economics and finances and can the city afford this? So I think as a city council member, you have to go and jump into the budget. And it seems like our city's done a very, very good job of keeping our city afloat. But can we rework some numbers in different directions so that we could spend a little bit more to improve our sidewalks, our streets, our lights, especially in the walkability areas. Um, we need to be able to back up and support our police department. The city of Carlsbad recently came up with, I don't know how many of you are computer savvy, but now they have a computer app that allows the residents to do minor crime reports online. So they don't have to use the resources of an officer to do that in real time and in person. If we look and see how we could modify the way we've done things and maybe bring some future technology into it, we could free up an officer a day for a few hours to patrol the trolley stops and take a walk up and down the village like in the older days where you'd see foot patrols. Nothing deters better than visibility of an officer. Thank you. Thank you. Well, as I said, safety is one of my key issues, not only for you, the neighbors, when you shop, but to bring people here to live. 
realtors take people out in their cars, they want to feel safe, they're going to look at the number one, believe it or not, is safety. And they look to buy in a neighborhood and in a community, safety is first. Schools are second, infrastructure is third. So it's very important that we have safety. We need people to also, we want to encourage businesses to come to La Mesa. We want them to open up their business and be entrepreneurs or live their dream. Well, we want all of us to be safe as we shop in their, in their, in their businesses. So safety is a double, kind of like a double-edged uh, sword. Also, uh, the police department, um, I really believe if we continue to build the uh, other housing, we're not going to be able to keep the same number of police that we have now. I just think it's, it's, not, it's not feasible to continue to bring people in here, have the same resources. We're going to need to eventually look at how we're going to increase our public safety to take care of the people that are moving here. So this is the, one of the main jobs of the city council. They allocate where the money goes. And as part of the big picture, when you look at something coming in like the park station that's going to bring more revenue in, maybe we will be able to look at it and say, yes, we need better sidewalks. We need better lights. I walk in this neighborhood a lot at night. Personally, I feel pretty safe. How do you all, you know, kind of, Great. You know, kind of I think that we're not in dire straits here. Um, but trolley security, I think, is a little different in that the MTS seems to have just privatized it out to somebody that pays minimum wage to people that I don't feel are really that invested in looking out for my safety. And we need people to ride this, the trolley. The trolley is an asset to this community because it allows people to get in and out. And I don't want to minimize that by not giving them the resources. There is a uh, councilman leaving, councilman Ewing, who is on the MTS board. And that is one of the reasons I'm running, because I would like to one day serve on the MTS board. I believe in, in public transportation, and I think that it can be a vital part of what we do here in La Mesa as we grow and we find a place for people that they can get back and forth. Um, the urban trails are working towards getting, and I'm out of time again. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Public safety is everyone's concern. It's my concern. I'm a citizen. I want to be safe. People look at me and they say, you're relatively big, and so you're probably safe on the streets. But I shop at Bonds, like many of you, and I don't want to be accosted when I go to my car. The police have started a special enforcement detail that's been, uh, been active for the past eight years, and they've been quietly going back and solving crimes and quietly being uh, assigned to special details when there's high propensity of crime in a neighborhood they're dispatched to that. You are gonna be the best way that we reduce crime. I've been uh, on a special detail with Neighborhood Watch with Councilman Ewan, and it comes down to increasing neighbors watching neighbors. When you see something suspicious, call 667-1400. Don't delay, the police want you to call. As far as sidewalks, we've been working on Safe Routes uh, program that's going to work, we work with the school and we get money for capital improvements, we put the sidewalks a $2 million uh, sidewalk right in front of Lemon Avenue Elementary. They had promised that when I was going to school, and so they finally got it done 40 years later, which was good. Um, lighting and sidewalks are important. Um, also, when we talk about the trolley, people say, will the trolley ever go anywhere? And I said, sure, we'll go to Lemon Grove and downtown. It's never going to leave. We're going to have the trolley forever here. The best thing we can do is we can work with MPS to make sure that uniformed officers, if you've been out on the trolley platform, have reduced the amount of people that are lurking around. We have cameras at the trolley stops now, but the trolley is going to stop in La Mesa, so La Mesa needs to work with MPS to make sure that we feel safe. The best thing I can say is, neighbors helping neighbors. We're all in this together. I want you to watch for me, I'm going to watch for you. That's the best way we can keep our neighborhood safe.